This is a shul on the Tfila. We finished the David. Now we go Kel Mele to Shekese Rahamin. We're going to do Kel Mele to Rahamin. That, that we did on Monday and Thursday. Monday and Thursday we say this Nosa. For Sudeko we say this Nosa. That's coming up soon with other Shem. Now we say Kel. We start with Kel. Kel is God. He's one of the 13 middles of Rahamin of Arosh Baruch And Rashi says that's a middle of Rahamin. First of all, it's 13 middle. Then it's the Ramal who says, Kelly, Kelly, Lama Azaftani. My God, my God, why do you leave me? When he was, he was going to Hashrosh, he saw that she saw that Raha Kodesh is leaving her. She says, Kelly, Kelly, Lama Azaftani. No, you don't tell me that thing, why are you leaving me? And he said, Mr. Rahamin. They were Kelly's Mr. Rahamin. And the starting point of 13, Mito Dal Rahamin is Kel is powerful. For Mitoy Rahame, we need power. We need to show power. Once we show power that you are coming to Tarodesh Baruch, you are powerful, you break Kobach, we could submit ourselves to Hashem. That's the greatest point of Mitoy Dal Rahame. We want Rahaman Rahodesh Baruch, we want merciless from Hashem. How do we are with to Merciless Kel? When we make ourselves powerful, Gibor to submit ourselves to our Kodesh Baruch Hu. Once we have that devura, that might, to submit ourselves to Hashem, then our Kodesh Baruch Hu uses his own devura to submit everything for our welfare, for our well-being. He subjugates everything. The way that we do, the same token that we do, Hashem does. So we do the Chaim is always Kel. Now here in this close time, we are saying Kel. Melk, you're all king. King. You paskin in your halacha, Rambo, Milchot, Melachin, Lev Melech, Lev Ha'amu. Melech, kingship, by Jews, are not like going. It's a matter of prestige, matter of ego, matter of self indulgement. The concept of the Melech by the Halistoyal is he is somebody to serve the nation. The heart of the Melech is the heart of the nation. You said in your books of laws on Melachim that the heart of the Melech is the heart of the nation. So you are our Melech, you are our king. Therefore, if we submit ourselves to our king and we really obey his mitzvot and we commit ourselves, devote ourselves to Akadosh Baruch Hu, once we do that devotion, then Akadosh Baruch Hu's heart is the heart of us. <laughs> What type of security you want in your life? What type of security? Money, army, power for the heart of Hashem. To get the heart of Akadosh Baruch Hu is the greatest secret in life. Melech, you are our Melech. Shouldn't be a lip service. We make him into our Melech. How do we make Akadosh Baruch Hu into our Melech? He's listening to his laws, to his mitzvot. Accepting his decrees, whatever decree he, 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 he sees it to be good for us and he makes it for us. Submitting yourself to the mitzvot and decrees, that's merit. You are saying you are a king who sits on the throne of Rahamim, mercy. Very good. Therefore, the throne of Adosh the throne of Rahamim, mercy. Umit Nahek and acts. Conduct by Hasidut with kindness. We interested in terminology. Using the throne of Hashem, Rahamim, the act of Hashem, Chesed. Why? Why don't we say it the other way? And what's the, what's the deep meaning of saying this terminology of throne is Rahamim, the act is Chesed. Now, first of all, what's the difference between Rahamim and Chesed? Rahamim is Chesed. So the Hodesh Baruch Hu says, in, in Rashi says in Parshat Breshit, all of the Maisei Breshit happened with Elohim, with that thing. Then all of a sudden, at the end, he says, Hashem Elohim. Rashi says that the Hodesh Baruch Hu wanted Breshit Baruch Elohim with that thing, and Hashem saw that the world cannot maintain Mishtatev Imo with that Rahamim, and he created with that, if you should go to a K, and he created with that Rahamim. Therefore, instead of the Bidin, it's Rahamim. What does Rahamim mean? Rahamim is a polished thing. Rahamim means that let's say that somebody worked for you 
and you told that you want thousand dollars paint here you give that one he painted so really the pain is not one thousand dollars it's nine hundred nine hundred fifty <coughs> eight hundred fifty but it could be viewed it could be looked at as one thousand dollars if you want to be meticulous and you want to be strict with the dean and dean don't deserve one thousand dollars but with that Rahim says don't look at it like that have it Rahman, have it merciless. Make it fit to 1,000. Don't deduct from it. You work. Not you work. It is something. Therefore, that is Raham. Chesed means that somebody doesn't have it to, to, to eat. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't deserve anything. They work for you. But through kindness, you give it to him. That's Chesed. That's kindness. Therefore, Pratila Vashwar Vashem, your throne. You know, it's not just forgiving and forgiving and that kindness. Because at the end of the day, I told created the world for Nahamad Mustafa, the bread of embarrassment. The bread of embarrassment means whatever that you work, you get. If you don't work, you don't get. Therefore, the throne means the throne of judgment, the throne of conducting and leadership and leading the world. The world is being led. Not with deal with the Hamim. Hamim means the deal stays the same, the same place, but not with the strictness. With looking at it with the merciless. We make it feel, we make it to be there. But it doesn't make Mikhail Hamedin. <laughs> if somebody didn't do anything, he doesn't get anything. That's a throne. Throne of Akadush who is the throne of, it's not the throne of Chesed. If it doesn't have a throne of Chesed, then means to say everything in the world is kindness and kind and gives. This is an embarrassment. That doesn't work. That's not the purpose of the creation of Radish Parku, just to give us a kindness and chesed. No. The purpose and the goal of the world is Bahamin. Means that you have to work. You have to eat what you work. Hashem wants us to be Nahmadi Kisufa. Nahmadi Kisufa, the word of embarrassment means. That we should eat our own accomplishment, we should accomplish in the world. And that Rahami makes it to happen. Now, meanwhile, Hakadosh Baruch Hu conducts with Chesed, he gives free rights, he gives free tokens, he gives free gifts. Why? Because Hashem is Erechapayim, Hashem prolongs his anger and gives us the opportunities. We don't deserve, we don't deserve, he gives it. Conduct with kindness that somehow we're going to come back. Somehow the Hashem delays and delays, prolongs. Therefore, it comes out. The throne of Abadosh Baruchu is Rahamim because the ultimate goal is polish in judgment with the polish, with the polish, with the mercy. But the way that it conducts right now with us, hopefully, and, uh, and uh, Really, with chesed, chesed means free ride, free lunch, free life, free health. He will give us everything free, even though that we don't deserve that somehow through having seen that chesed in that kindness and everything, we're going to be chosen with true while we're going to come back. That is the way that Hoshua will do this. Hashem wants to do us with chesed and chamin, and through that, Becomes closer and closer to us. It's so interesting that last week, Parsha, we learned about the Chetam Moshabenu. Even before she said, it's a shock for the Chetam Moshabenu. Bab Shach, Sikron Ibrahim, the God of Ador, Bab Shach says, What was the Chetam Moshabenu? Everybody talks about it. I saw Bab Shach exactly the other day. Bab Shach says, See, the Hal Israel asked for water, didn't ask properly. Didn't ask properly. That's true. Didn't ask properly. No. Hashem told Moshe they are not asking properly. Now, one would think they should get to be punished. One would think they need rebuke. One would think that at the time we should give them Musar. But I could respond to tell Moshe Rabbeinu, don't hit rock. Don't be rushed with them. Talk to them with love, with ahava, with caring, with devotion. Don't be harsh. Now is not the time of Musa and discipline. 
let the Hal Israel realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this Hashem is Melech Sobel Elbon, is the king that bears disgrace, even though that they disgrace Hashem. But they have to know that even though that you disgrace Hashem, Hashem is Rahamim Chesed, kindness. He loves you. He contacts with you with the love and Ahavo. Through that, they would realize that's a Melech Sobel Elyon, Elbon. But Moshe Rabbeinu told them rebellion, rebellion. Told them, why? What do you want? It was harsh and he was well in righteousness. And that was that he didn't kill like the Shemi in the Israel. He didn't sanctify him. Because if the Halisai would relate to God of Rahamim and merciness, even though that they didn't ask properly, that would sanctify the name of Hashem. That would give a great majesty of the struggle to the Holy Spirit. Told him it's not a time of Musa. Everything has its own time. Now was a time of Musa. And the second was a time to show them love, dedication, instead of hitting the rock and being a harsh attitude, being soft, gentle, talking, educating, and loving and caring. So that, that shout of this is so beautiful. Instead of that people should come back and do Shuba. That's the purpose of Abu Shbarhu, and this is the Anhalgo Alashanko.